Welcome back everybody. Thank you for checking out the channel Legend of Blackout Boxing. My name is Johnny. Let's get right into it. Uh, April 30th. That's what well, that's what we're here to talk about. April 30th, okay? Um, what can I say? It's going to be an epic night. It's going to be a legendary night. We got a lot of a lot of a lot of good fights coming up. Uh Let's start off with the women's division. I'm going to hit the top the top three or four uh, fights that I'm interested in. Please, in the comment section, uh, let me know. Let me know what else you guys want me to hit up this week and what we can talk about uh, leading up to this weekend, right, for these epic fights. Uh, we'll start off with uh, the heavy-hitting diva, uh, Franchon. Uh, I think that said that right, right? Is it Franchon? Franchon? The heavy-hitting diva cruise, all right? Super middleweight. She's, uh, I believe, the WBC and WBO title holder right now. If I'm not mistaken, please let me know. Uh, yeah, Franchon's coming in with a seven and one uh, record with two knockouts. Uh, I think, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, also her early defeat is to Clarissa Shields. I think they fought once upon a time. I might have been like the, her her debut fight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, for you guys don't know. Uh, uh, Cruz is a hell of a fighter. Um, I, I, you know, I'm super impressed uh, with the progress she's, that she's made. She fought and uh, she fought her heart out against uh, I forget the girl's name, uh, Spanish fighter, uh, Hispanic fighter uh, who got caught using PEDs. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, Cruz is a hell of a fighter. She's fighting um, Aline Cedrios. Cid uh, Did I say that right? Uh, Ellen Cedrio, Cedrius, okay, eight and zero, four knockouts. Um, she's holding the IBF and the WBA titles. Yes, this is a undisputed bout that's that's gonna happen this weekend. Um, I can't wait. This is gonna be a, a great fight, action packed. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't expect anything less from this fight. Um, I'm not too familiar where too familiar with Ellen uh, Cedrius. I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry, Ellen. Don't you know? Um, not familiar with her, but um, I I've seen uh, uh, the heavy hitting diva, and she's she's legit, man. She could throw down. She could fight. Um, we'll see what that, you know. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some research, and maybe I might make another another video on um, Ellen uh, Cedrus. Maybe I'll figure out how to pronounce her name. Uh, <laughs> no disrespect, Ellen. Uh, but I'll, I'll do some more research. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out there because I, I, you know, fight week. It's like, man, we're almost, we're literally like a couple days from weigh-in. It's gonna be great. Um, with that being said, that's for the super uh, the females uh, super middleweight uh, undisputed championship. That's all the belts. Okay, all the major sanctions, all four major sanctions. All right. Uh, man, I've been talking about I've been talking about Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. Lately, to all my colleagues and all my buddies on uh, my Instagram feed, uh, yeah, man, Ser uh, Serrano is uh, the only female that's captured s uh, titles in seven different weight classes. Okay, seven different weight classes. Uh, this is this is this that itself is incredible uh serrano to me is the uh no disrespect to any other female fighter out there but a uh, boxer but amanda serrano by far to me is the goat she's uh the guat she's the greatest woman of all time she's i mean you know their numbers numbers speak for themselves um she's the only woman that's captured you know she's a seven division champion uh, that's a great feat that's an, that's an amazing feat itself uh but she is fighting katie taylor who right now is under? I believe she's the undisputed champion uh, at the lightweight, the females lightweight division. Uh, Katie Taylor is twenty and zero with uh, six knockouts. Uh, hell of a boxer. She's got great IQ. Uh, this is going to be a tough fight though. Um, right now I have a fifty fifty, just based off of Amanda Serrano's last performance. You know you're only as good as your last performance in boxing. Uh, uh, Serrano has an impressive record though. With uh, she's got more than double the fights. She's forty-two and one with thirty KOs. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see this fight. This is also again 
for the light uh the women's uh the females lightweight uh undisputed championship again two undisputed championships in one night same card this is going to be like i said legendary in itself um listen i uh i don't really like to get into these things but women's boxing women's uh women in combat sports in general don't get the credit they deserve they put it all uh all out there on their uh, on the line just like the men do uh but I am glad that uh, they're getting the attention they deserve uh, for the uh, for these uh, fights that are, that are you know getting put together now finally. But um, yeah, you guys tune in, um, tune in. Uh, I believe it's the zone uh, through the app. Go ahead, make the purchase. You know, support uh, not just uh, the females, uh, but just boxing in general. You know, do your do your thing, guys. Um, Serrano has a lot of power. Her record says it itself. She's got 30 KOs. Um, you know, uh, none of that matters though. If you can't, you can't. You, if you can't touch Katie Taylor, right? Katie Taylor can box. Um, like you know, she's 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 a master at what she does. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see that fight. That fight's gonna be awesome. Uh, quick little note here. I did. I do remember this though. Katie Taylor did beat Cindy Serrano, which is Amanda Serrano's sister. So, Amanda, if you somehow see this in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be just absolutely adding you on Instagram. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, I think that'd be a sweet revenge. Uh, you know, for your family. Uh, and man, you, you know. This is just going to be one heck of a fight. I love it. I love the matchup here. Uh, let's get it going. Uh, now moving on to the men's uh, uh, divisions. Uh, we do have a former Olympian that's been catching my attention anyways. And I'm sure most of everybody's attention that follows boxing. And that's uh, Keyshawn Davis, the businessman. Uh, he's 4-0, three knockouts. Uh, he's uh, stepping up, I believe, in caliber and competition. He's fighting uh, Esteban, uh, Esteban, Esteban Sanchez, 18-1, 8 KOs. Uh, this one should be a great fight. Uh, from what I, I don't know too much about Esteban. Uh, I will do more research, but um, we all know Davis is a great prospect. He's got a lot of potential. Uh, an exciting fighter. I can't wait to see what he does this weekend. It should be a fun fight. It should be a great fight. Um, we'll, I'll definitely be checking that out. Uh, but... Uh, Onto the uh, you know the the men's uh, headliner is going to be Shakur Stevenson, former former Olympian. Uh, he's seventeen and zero with nine knockouts, I believe. Yep, seventeen and zero with nine knockouts, uh, facing uh, you know uh, Oscar Valdez, thirty and zero, with uh, I believe uh, Valdez has twenty. He has twenty three knockouts, thirty and zero, twenty three knockouts. Um. Listen, this is going to be a great fight. Uh, Shakur Stevenson has the WBO title. Valdez has the WBC uh, Super Featherweight Championship. Okay, uh, this is a not a not an undisputed, but it's a unification bout. Uh, you have these two undefeated uh, champions. Uh, I'll do a breakdown about that fight uh, later on today, and I'll probably you know uh, release it uh, if not tonight, tomorrow morning. Keep the content rolling, right? Keep you guys, keep feeding you guys. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, Valdez is a champion. He's a hell of a fighter. Uh, he's a warrior, okay? This guy overcame adversity with a broken jaw and came back and won a fight. Uh, and I'm talking about, like, if you know what I'm talking about, that dark, dark, dark black looking blood that comes out when you know you broke somebody's jaw. That was him. He was, he was, he, you know, that was a really tough fight. He did have uh, that mishap with the uh, whole, you know, PED. He popped for that, but um, I don't think it had anything really, you know, crazy or impactful on the fight. It's a diuretic. It's probably just to get that a little bit of weight off. Just, you know, not get too much into that. We'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is a master of boxing. I got to say it just like how it is. That's exactly how it came out because it's, to me it's the truth. Shakur Stevenson is, a, is just a master. He's a boxer. He can punch a bit. Uh, his defense is on point. His offense, you, we all saw what happened with uh, with uh, Herring. Um, 
yeah, Shakur, man, I, 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 you know, like I said, I'll break down that fight um, in the next video. Uh, but like I said, we got a hell of a weekend coming up, April 30th. It's, it's going to be action packed, and it's going to be an, it's going to be a legendary night. All right. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this content. Um, try not to keep you guys too long. Maybe you guys like these videos. Let me know, please. Like I said, leave your comments. I don't care if they're negative, positive. I don't care. It doesn't phase me. Um, it just uh, helps the channel out, okay? Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, peace out. You can follow me.